Freaking dino day, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to another video. Not just any video. Dino day video. So when it comes to horsepower numbers on this car, uh, I've seen everywhere from 300 to 330, depending on the dyno, the octane, the elevation, anywhere in like the low 300s on a stock N55 M2. If I had to guess, I would say this car is somewhere around 370 or 380, if I had to guess. I don't know though, to be honest with you, which is why we're going to the dyno. Unfortunately, we aren't gonna be able to do a bunch of different dyno passes with with stock and different tunes and all that. I specifically do not have a lot of time while we are there, so I'm not gonna be able to put on different tunes and re-dyno it. We're just gonna dyno it. All I really care about is to figure out where the car is at right now with the stage two boot mode tune. So this M2 right now is full bolt-on with uh, boot mode stage two, OTS map, uh, 93 octane. After this, we are gonna be doing the Jordan tune. I've been talking to Kerry Jordan, uh, his team over at Boot Mode, and they are gonna be doing a tune for me in this car, and I think that's where we're gonna actually see some good numbers. A lot of these OTS maps, they are, they're great for just like, buy them right off the shelf, throw them in your car and get some power fast, but they really don't go into like the fine tuning details, so that's what I really wanna do. I wanna be able to set this car up for uh, like a race gas mix, a race gas tune, and then a daily driving tune. Towards the end of the summer I'm looking to do pure stage two and then I'm going to be doing the uh, custom tune with Jordan and ideally I would like this car to be daily drivable at 500 horsepower so wheel horsepower right there my goal isn't necessarily to make this car like a horsepower monster so at the end of the day what I'm really looking for with this car is 500 horsepower daily driving you guys right now stop everything you're doing comment down below guess what the wheel horsepower will be in this car and we'll, we'll see if you're right I have no idea like I said I think it's somewhere around 370 or 380 I really don't know though anyways you guys let's get on the road head over to CES Excuse me, pardon me. Oh no, she's not having it. <laughs> Lady didn't let me in. Said, no problem, I'll just take the shoulder. <laughs> there and it is 86 degrees out a little warm for a dino day but we should be we'll be all right we'll be fine let her cool down a little bit i don't know man i don't know what we're gonna pull here you gotta perform today baby this place is pretty close to home which is nice man makes it a lot easier when you're trying to get your uh trying to get your car dynoed we're in monroe monroe county north carolina i think that's what it is I will meet you guys inside of CES. All right, we are back at CES Motorsport. My guy John here, you guys remember him from last time. Say hi, John. Hey, Welcome going? back to the channel, man. So we are gonna be dyno tuning, well not tuning, we're gonna be dynoing the N55B and the M2. And um, sounds like John and I are gonna be doing some work in the future. I'm um, talking maybe some pure turbos, talking maybe some uh, some fueling, some custom tuning, and I think this would be a fantastic shop to do it. As you can see, most of the cars here, the dynamic car right there, if you guys remember in an older vlog, I actually had this as a loaner, um, but John was working on it, uh, tune its turbo, turbo E36 M3. But um, yeah, I think that this shop would be the right place to do the pure stage two turbo kit and the custom tuning because, well, one, they have a dyno in-house and that's huge when it comes to being able to test the car out and tune it accurately. And obviously, you know, this, this shop is a little more accustomed to doing projects. So when you have, you know, a car that needs to get a project done like that, it's nice to have a lift where it can just sit on the lift for a while while you guys are working on it. Um, but today we are gonna find out what this thing is putting down. <laughs>
so first run down and we are at 401 97 and 442 that is wheel horsepower my friends so it's more than i thought it would be um, we were talking a little bit how it gets choppy up top so what we're going to actually do is hook up boot mode and data log these next two pulls just so we can have an idea of why that's happening and so i mean if you're looking at a better tune i mean easily looking into the fours uh mid fours i would guess so dude i can't believe we're already in the fours on the first pull 402 wheel horsepower i'm happy going to be doing some data logging you know when we go carry jordan tune we want to be able to send all of these logs over to him so he can see and that'll give us a better idea of what we're working with and kind of a better idea of how to approach future tuning with the car but man it's um this thing's doing really well the uh the breakup could also be a spark plug deal but um we'll see So These you are can actually, actually the, right uh, the timing drops right here. So it has a couple of them, little, little minor ones. Mm -hmm. um, and what the tuner can do is you can go in and take a look at this stuff and adjust ignition, et cetera, in the actual Right, tune based itself. on the log. C correct. And that's so when you see this, it's actually okay. It's not bad, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, he might be able to clean that up a little bit to, yeah. to smooth out the curb up top because it seems like right at about 6200. Yeah. So if you go in your logs here with, uh, see where we are, engine speeds right around 6200. See how the ignition timing, see how one's 10, 9, 7, yeah, 7, yeah, 7. Yeah. So it's actually pulling a few degrees of timing okay. going down yeah, versus yeah. going up. And they're kind of all over the place. Correct. So what he can do is actually change the timing curves and timing maps. So it's just RPM. clean. Yeah, the yeah, whole way through. Bit, yeah. yeah, which means it might be just a tad aggressive, and that's why it's pulling a little bit of timing. Okay. It's also really hot. But, uh, awesome. We'll another cool down. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Made a couple more on it. So you guys can see where the timing is pulling there in the end. All right. There we go. So 403 at 450 for torque. And that's wheel horsepower, right? That is, to the wheels. Yes, sir, to the wheels. So, you guys can see where it's chopping up back here. And that's what we're hoping to fix once we data log it and work with the tuner. Like he just explained to you, we can go ahead and clean all this up. And so, if you fix that, do you hypothetically gain more horsepower? Yes. You yeah. Can. The theory is you add more timing, you mm -hmm. add more power. Mm -hmm. But. In a lot of cases, if you actually pull timing out, mm -hmm. it allows the car to make more power because you're being too aggressive. Okay. So it's a balancing act between the mods, the finding fuel, the right the mixture, mixture yeah. and everything. There's a lot of different factors that play into tuning. And that's why custom tuning is... That's why it's so expensive. Well, yeah, because you spend the time to really balance yeah. the tune to the car. That makes total sense. Yeah. Everything, everything just has to be working in perfect yeah. symmetry. And in these temperatures too, you're at 92, 93 degree ambient temps in the shop right now. We can actually uh, pop that over so you can see it over here too. Oh, okay. Um, it's hot. So yeah. cars tend to not make as much power when it's hot. Right, right, right. That plays a factor too, so. Yeah.
Alright, so that one uh, went to $399 and $452. Alright. So Probably getting hot. It is a little bit. Yeah. And I think uh, that's where the uh, tuning is going to come in, like we were talking about. Right, right, right. Right in this area right here. Where it's breaking up. You see how this one had a little bit more um, timing drop versus yeah. the other ones? Yeah. And these are little things you can check. Mm -hmm. The main thing is these logs, you send them to the tuner, mm -hmm. he takes a look, we will know exactly what to do. Cool. Dude, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, everything it. Everything wants me. That one dropped down a little bit to, what did we say, 399? So, uh, so 399. Uh, right here, that will be the last one. And you can see it's how it itself started kind of cleaning it up, but it yep. just pulled the power down just yep. a little bit more. You see so how much 399. This scrap is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's like the right up here. capability and adaption of the actual. He's just trying to fix it. Itself. Yeah. Right. Wow. So our best run, 403. Wheel horsepower at 450, well, 452 on yeah, that one. 453 actually, if you round up. Yep. Yeah, so 453 torque um, and 403 wheel horsepower. John, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. If you guys need anything done, like CES, they do it all. If you look around, they have Supras, they're building E36, e, I mean, M3s, like from the scratch, dude. And these guys, they're building turbo kits, they're tuning cars. They're dynoing, it's a one-stop shop. And this is where I'm gonna be building this guy. We're gonna be doing pure stage two turbo on this, tuning it with John. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. And um, yeah, if you guys are in the Monroe area, Charlotte in general, make sure you check out CES. Uh, again, John, thank you so much, man. Appreciate your help. 400 horsepower gang, where you at? 403, boys and girls, 403. Sick, I'll take it. God, I love going to that shop, man. I can't wait to work with him more. I can't wait to build this car up in that shop. John's just such a good, down-to-earth dude. And um, I think that we're gonna be doing a lot of work with those guys. Super, super excited. Dude, 403? I'll take it. It's hot. It's 93 degrees here today. If we had the um, that end timing issue figured out and it wasn't so hot, he thinks that we would have been around 420, 425. So we've decided what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come back when it's a little bit cooler because right now it's super hot. And then I'm also going to change out the spark plugs and regap them at 19, 18 or 19 because now they're at 22. And he's thinking that um, maybe dropping that gap just a little bit would fix it. And I'm also going to throw on my turbo inlet pipe. I don't have my inlet pipe on, I have a stock inlet pipe. So he thinks that doing that um, and fixing up that, that timing pole in the end is really gonna benefit this car. And then from there, we're gonna do a custom tune with Jordan and I'm gonna do a dyno tune. So we're actually gonna tune the car while it's on the dyno remotely with Kerry Jordan. And then from there, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the pure stage two turbo. And we're gonna do a few different maps. We're gonna do one on 93 octane and then we're gonna do race gas. And um, yeah, 500 horsepower is not gonna be a problem with this car at all. So you have to think that from stock, this car is already making about 100 wheel horsepower over stock with almost full bolt-ons, pretty much full bolt-ons and a stage two tune. Not bad. Not bad at all. Huge shout out to John over at CES, you guys. I'm gonna leave all of his information down below. Hit him up. If you guys need anything done, any building, tuning, dynoing, hit him up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. And just like that, this video is over and I'm out. Peace. We'll be right